Today we're going to go through a couple different steps in order to move your Outlook account to Max Entourage program. Now what uh, we'll first do is I'm going to demonstrate a software tool by CME Software. It's located at convertmyemail.com. Again, that's convertmyemail.com. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Outlook to Entourage. It's $14.95. I'm going to go ahead and download the demo and purchase it. Okay, now that I've downloaded the demo and I've activated it and I've purchased the software, I now have the software on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and double click the software and run it. And when I run it, it pops up the main Outlook to Entourage screen. Um, if I just want the easy method, I'm going to go ahead and click Start and run through this. Then I'll run through the advanced options as well. So next, a next, ask me if I'm ready to begin. Go ahead and click Next. It'll now export all of the Outlook data. Now this tool does not transfer notes or tasks, but it will transfer your emails, your attach attachments, your contacts, and your calendar items. So a good three out of five. So it's now finished. I'm going to click close. And here is my Outlook.rge folder and then the CME log report. Next I'll take the Outlook.erge folder and I'm going to zip it. And for that I'm going to use 7-zip. There's also WinZip and PKZip. Okay. This is necessary in order to keep the emails on the transfer to the Mac computer. So I'm going to add to archive. Make sure it is a zip, not a tar, uh, RAR, or 7Z, and click OK. This will create an outlook.rge.zip folder on my desktop, or file. There we go. And this is what I will now move to my Mac computer. And when I place it on the Mac desktop, it will unzip it automatically or you may need to double click it and it'll unzip it for you. Um, you'll then be able to browse, do the file import in Entourage and import this into Outlook. If possible we'll put a video tutorial up on that as well. And that's it. Just go ahead and move this Outlook.rge file to your Mac piece, to your Mac desktop. pretty simple process. If you have any questions, please go to convertmyemail.com and they'll be happy to help you. Thank you very much.